We're going to begin the class by talking about active reading. Active reading is going to be expected throughout the remainder of this course and the remainder of all of the courses that you're going to take throughout your college career. Active readers are involved with what they are reading. I know that many of you probably sometimes struggle with what you're reading or you think what you are reading is boring. And I understand that. I read a lot of things that I also think are boring. Uh, but in order to, to gain comprehension, to understand what you're reading, you have to actually be involved with it. So throughout this course, we're going to talk about different ways that you can be involved with your reading to help you understand it better. An active reader also interacts with the author and his or her ideas. So instead of just reading to read, um, we are going to work on setting a purpose for reading, understanding the ideas that are presented, discussing those ideas, um, and using some of those ideas to form our own writing. Now there are two types of readers. We have our active readers, which is what you all are going to become throughout this course if you're not already, and we have our passive readers. Active readers tailor their reading strategies to suit each assignment. Each assignment that you get in college and each assignment that you get throughout this course is going to require a different type of reading. For example, if you are just reading something because you're going to have a discussion in class, you're going to read that differently than if you are reading something because you're going to take an exam on it. So you, we're going to start working on how you can tailor your reading to suit each assignment that also leads to analyzing the purpose of the reading assignment. So understanding kind of what you need to do after you finish reading that is going to help you decide how you need to read it. Do you need to read every single detail or do you just need to, to skim it? Um, active readers also adjust their reading speed to suit their purposes. Again, determining if you need to read something quickly or if you really need to take your time and slow down and analyze it so that you deeply understand the meaning. Meaning, excuse me. Active readers also make sure they are understanding what they are reading. We will get into some comprehension strategies later in the course. And lastly, active readers read with pencil in hand, highlighting, jotting notes, and marking key vocabulary. We are going to focus a little bit more on um, that bullet point uh, next week. Then we have our passive readers, and some of you may still be in this passive reader category, or you may do a few things that are mentioned here, but passive readers read all their assignments the same way. Um, they read everything the same speed. And this third bullet is probably the worst. They accept whatever is in print as true. And we know, especially in this day and age, that there are so many things that aren't true. There's so much fake news that we really have to examine and analyze our reading to find the truth. Um, passive readers read until the assignment is complete. And you might be thinking that this is a, a good thing. Um, it actually isn't. When you have reading assignments, it's best to break them up into, into doable chunks. If I sit down and have to read you know, a chapter that's 100 pages long, I'm eventually going to get bored and I'm not going to understand what I'm reading. But if I break it up into maybe 20 pages at a time and then going to take a break, I am going to be able to focus better on each section and therefore my comprehension will be increased. And a lot of times passive readers just read. They just pick it up and read it and they have no purpose behind why they are actually reading it. And that's fine if you're reading for entertainment or uh, for leisure, but for college purposes, you really need to be reading to understand, to comprehend. Let's talk a little bit about the reading process. So the reading process is divided into three parts. We have our before reading, during reading, and after reading. And active readers are doing something during each one of those steps of the reading process. Before you read, you should always preview the text to get an overview to decide kind of what is this going to be about? What is it that I'm actually starting to read? Make some predictions. What do you, where is this piece of text going? What is it going to be about? Um, decide what you want to learn. You know, is this something that I'm interested in? 
what types of things do I feel are important to pull out of this reading? And we're going to be working on some um, pre, pre, excuse me, before reading strategies this week. Um, during reading, you want to be highlighting and annotating. We'll get into an annotating next week. Um, pay attention to comprehension signals. Think about and be aware of when your comprehension is breaking down. What is making you not understand something? Um, figure out unfamiliar words and use the textbook learning aids. If you're reading something and there are charts and graphs, be sure to pay attention to those because those are also going to help your understanding. After reading, you want to express your ideas in your own words. Um, if you can read something and then tell someone else what you read, that is a good sign that you've understood it. Um, summarize what you read to connect ideas and then use learning and recall strategies. So whatever works for you to help you remember what you read and we'll explore some of those in this course as well. Some of the pre-reading strategies that we're going to be working with this week. Um, reading the title, looking for the author's name, reading the first paragraph, if there are any bold words, look at the bold words, try to figure out what they mean before you read. Um, look for any graphic aids like charts and graphs, um, pictures, photographs, and then read the last paragraph to kind of get an idea. If you read the first paragraph and the last paragraph, you have a pretty good idea about what is going on. This might also help you to generate some questions to give yourself a purpose while you're reading. You can also make predictions. Um, what do you think this is going to be about? Where do you think this is going? Why is my instructor having me read this? Um, and then lastly, make connections. Ask questions and try to answer them. Um, draw from your own experience. See how you can connect to anything that you're reading. Um, and then also just brainstorm anything that comes to mind. This is going to help, especially when it comes to writing papers um, or or creating essays, doing research, and that type of thing. So this is the end of this week's um, PowerPoint. If you have questions, please feel free to email me.